That's right. Welcome to the side of the ring because it's time for some ringside rumors. Three top four. Wow. Three top rumors for you, ladies and gentlemen. So without further ado, we're just going to jump straight into it. Our first top rumor, WRKD Wrestling says WWE CEO Nick Khan wants to, quote, solidify NXT as a major third brand, and there will be multiple tie-ins in the near future. Not only will Braun Breaker challenge Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship, but NXT tag teams will be, quote, getting mixed in with main roster matches. So this is a really good idea. I think that this is a really good idea. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but I think the reason why they're doing this is because AEW Collision is starting, and obviously that's the third brand for AEW, so, and NXT is like, oh, well, uh, you know, we are technically like a third. NXT has really been, like, jumping back and forth between, like, we're the third brand and we should be considered as such. And then, no, we're a developmental brand, you know, don't expect anything from us. And now it is being considered as the third brand, like, all over again. So I'm happy to hear about this because it's really, it's not so much giving NXT, it's not about NXT. I'm not really thinking about it um, with NXT. I'm thinking about it with the uh, the roster members of NXT and the fact that we've got uh, Baron Corbin running around and Mustafa Ali's running around, you know what I mean? And we've got the uh, NXT Women's Tag Team Champions on SmackDown, which is still a bit weird to me because they haven't done like anything. Like they haven't defended the titles or anything like that. They're kind of just there and like none of the women tag teams on NXT are like, hey, what the hell do we do now you know so that's i mean that's like the only like confusing thing about this but i think that that's the point i think that's what is supposed to be happening like now that i'm hearing about this i think that that's like kind of um you know what is like gonna start happening do you know what i mean like the, the nxt which is kind of weird because the nxt tag teams are like <laughs> Well, I guess we have to go to SmackDown now, you know? Like, it's kind of weird that they have to cross over to a completely different brand, but that's the point, you know? And then you've got the Raw guy. Like, the Raw guy's going to NXT and the SmackDown guy's going to NXT, sure. And I like the NXT guys going to, um, you know, the other brands and everything. Uh, but the idea of, like, okay, well, I want to challenge for that title, but now I have to go all the way over there. I don't know. It just seems a little bit weird to me, just a tad. But other than that, I mean, I'm really, um, I'm really... What's the word? I'm looking forward to this, pretty much. I'm very curious as to see how this is gonna play out. What's the word I'm trying to look for here? I'm I'm hopeful, I guess. That's what I'm trying to like trying to like find a word to be like, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how this is gonna turn out. And I'm very excited to see like what they're gonna do with it without saying the same thing again. You know? So only time will tell how uh, how it'll go. Our next top rumor, Wrestling Observer Radio's Dave Meltzer claims that AEW's long-term plan is for Konosuke Takeshita to be, quote, one of the biggest baby faces in the company. So, the fact that they want Konosuke to be the big, one of, one of, one of the biggest baby faces in the company, right? And he is right now playing, like, a slimy heel right next to the slimiest heel of all time, Don Callis, right? Tells you a lot that, first of all, this storyline is nowhere from over, Right? The fact that, you know, he's a heel and we're going to see the transition from we hate you and we want you to get the hell out of here right now to, oh my God, I can't believe it's him. You know, uh, I, I'm i really look. I know I keep saying it, but like, that's kind of what, that's just how it is. Because we're, we're not, I don't think we're in like the beginning stages. I would argue that we're like crossing over into uh the climax of the whole thing because we've already seen him wrestle. He's already been in championship matches, right? Um... Was he with? He was, right? Because he saved them. And then he turned on them. So we've already seen him, like, you know, be, like, the greatest baby face in the world. And now, like, Braun Breaker, like, now we're seeing him, like, on the other, the dark side, you know? Like, he's coming out in, like, the black, uh, the black ear and everything. So it's not going to happen right now. It's not going to happen anytime soon. That's the main thing that we need to get uh, out of the way. So it's not going to happen anytime soon. So, uh, you know, I'm curious as to when they're going to start doing it. Our final top rumor, following up on the Adam Cole MJF promo segment on this week's Dynamite, Meltzer mentioned that Cole was never told about WWE's plan for him to be a manager on the main roster until well after the fact. The reason why he signed with AEW is because their offer was, quote, significantly better than the WWE offer. AEW really wanted him, and Vince McMahon didn't see it in him. It's really crazy to think, um, what the world would have been like if Vince McMahon never got, like, smacked up by the legal system for all the stuff that he did and if he was still in creative control you know um to be fair though i say that 
and I mean, it, nothing was stopping Adam. Well, no, because wasn't it like a whole non-compete thing? Andrew Yang definitely would have still been on that. I'll tell you that right now. Andrew Yang would have definitely, if not for Wall Street, Andrew Yang would have like jumped on his back and started like pulling it like the rest, like the last bit. Well, not the last bit. I can't really say that, can I? He's definitely got more hair than I do. I'll tell you that. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's very, I'm, it, it's very interesting to think about where WWE would be right now. I mean, they still would have gotten the UFC Endeavor situation. You know what I mean? Like there would have there's still there was still like absolute points in the timeline. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there still would have been things that obviously would have happened, but it's very interesting to think like what would the storylines be right now? You know what I mean? Like what feuds would we have? Well, we still have Cody Rhodes Lesnar. We still have Rollins as the World Heavyweight Champion, you know? Like how would everything like play out? And Adam Cole is definitely uh, one of those, like, what ifs, you know? I mean, arguably, he definitely would have went to AEW. I feel like I would have been, like, a, um, a whatchamacallit, a, a, a ride-on, a show ride-on, as my brother likes to say. But I feel like, also, we probably would have still gotten it. A very brief stint of it. Like, I would argue, like, maybe, like, I don't know, three weeks, three, four weeks, maybe. I would argue less than a month. And then Adam Cole would have been like, this is dumb, and I'm out of here. You know what I mean? And, uh, not MJF. Uh, Vince McMahon is definitely one of the, the biggest, like, what-ifs in WWE, like, if he had it just, like, stuck around. But, uh, I mean, other than that, I mean, you know, Adam Cole's doing his thing. And uh, there's, I mean, listen, never say never. We could definitely see MJF in a WWE ring at some point. And uh, who knows? I mean, with all this nonsense flying around about Vince McMahon being in charge and not being charged and then showing up to the show and then making major changes and then the changes end up being like minor like who's to say you know like what could potentially happen in the near future so well I guess we'll just have to wait and see moving over to our minor rumors our first minor rumor according to Fightful Select the current plan is for Kenta to work the Forbidden Door pay-per-view on June 25th and a dream match with CM Punk has been discussed I'll throw this into the minor rumors okay I'm going to throw this into the minor rumors. I know that there's a lot of people out there that are thinking to themselves, wow, Kent is going to be at Forbidden Door, and wow, he might fight CM Punk. Listen, one thing is for certain. Kento's, okay, I don't know. I don't know, because I can't see into the future. One thing that is more certain than the other is Kenta being at Forbidden Door. One thing that is less certain is Kenta, I would be, let's, let's get to Collision first. Collision happens before Forbidden Door. Let's get to Collision. I said this, what, yesterday, I think? Let's see how the crowd reacts to him first. If I'm Tony Khan, I'm not putting my chips on CM Punk. I'm not putting all of them on CM Punk. I'm putting, like, maybe, like, two on CM Punk. And the rest, I am putting into everyone else. I am not doing anything until I hear what the crowd has to say about CM Punk coming out in the main event of Collision. Because, I don't know if I said this yesterday, but that is pretty much... All CM Punk has left. If he comes out and he does not get a war, like, even if the reception he is, even if it isn't lukewarm, okay, enough for like a newborn baby to sit in, right? Not a newborn baby, like a baby that's like, no, a newborn baby, because they have to bathe. Anyway, if it's not enough for, for someone to be like, okay, you know, he's still, people still kind of like him. I would, uh, snip, I would immediately, I don't have time for this. I don't. I don't have time for CM Punk to climb all the way back, back up the mountain. Also, that halfway up, he can say something stupid and then get smacked right back off again. I don't have time for that, okay? It's probably going to happen anyway. But again, if I'm con, no. It's not on the table, Punk. You got to show me that you're here to stay. And you're here to do what you're supposed to be doing. And you're not just going to run off to social media and act like a petty child who got his toy taken away from him. Okay? Because I don't have, again... I'm going to say, I'm going to keep saying it. I do not have time for this. So, I am waiting until collision. Our next minor rumor, Fightful heard that AEW contacted NJPW in January about booking Mercedes Monet for the Forbidden Door pay-per-view. Furthermore, AEW talent was under the impression that she would work the event with Soraya rumored to be her potential opponent. Again, never say never. I'm assuming that that is more than likely still going to be the case. If, again, I know that I keep saying this, but if I'm con, I'm not writing, I'm not completely writing that off. I'm waiting for Monet to get, you know, 100%. And then as soon as she's back together, uh, we're sorting out, um, you know, scheduling. You know what I mean? We're sorting out the plans. And then once that's pretty much done, then we're pretty much going to start the Monet-Soraya program. Depending on what Soraya's doing. 
that's a good very that's a very good point. I can't be selfish. I have to think about what Saraya is doing. So if Saraya is like all good to go and like she doesn't really have a whole lot going on, like she's not chasing a title or anything like that, bam! So we're in a program with uh, Monet and uh, we're off to the races. Our final minor rumor, Seth Rollins told Mark Andrews, my love letter to wrestling, that he thinks Drew McIntyre is on the injured list right now. I don't particularly know what's going on with Drew right now. I know about the whole contract negotiation situation, and I know that at one point he was injured. I don't know if he still is. I don't know. I don't 100% know. I haven't heard any updates or anything like that, so I don't know if he's still injured, but I know that right now he's like in limbo, you know? He's kind of just like, you know, just, just floating around, you know? I don't know what he, I don't know if he's waiting on anything. I don't, I don't know. I have literally no idea. I'm not Drew McIntyre, right? So I guess the only thing that we can really do that we've been doing so far is to just wait and see what happens because I literally have no idea what he's doing and what is going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I, I say this all the time. He could renegotiate. He could go to AEW. He could go to Ring of Honor. He could go to uh, Evolve or, or Progress. Uh, d d defy like he could go to like so many different places there's so many different possibilities he could go nowhere and be like you know what i'm out of here and ride off into the sunset do like Jokic, get on the rickshaw after the playoffs you know you never hear from him again until like the next you know until the the, the basketball comes back on you know like i i don't know so rollins is over here like I, I don't know i thought he was on the injured list you know what i'm saying i'm over here like oh i i thought he wasn't you know negotiating a contract like i don't know what the hell is going on so i guess just wait and see if drew comes out and says something or uh you know um what's his face not triple h someone someone in wwe is like hey this is what we've got going on with drew mcintyre right now but until then there's not really much i can say what do we talk about kenta versus punk is on the table kenta working for Bindor door is also on the table but it's more in the center of the table than the punk kenta match which i'd I don't want to have happen. At least I don't want to consider it just yet. I personally don't want to sit here and be like, oh, that match is definitely going to happen. I don't necessarily know. We're going to have to wait and see. Monet and Tony Khan were definitely in talks. Um, those talks, I'm for sure, are still going to be happening. It's literally what I've been saying the last like two days. It's just a matter of waiting for Monet to be 100% again. And once she is, I mean, it'll pretty much just, it's like a water wheel. It just doesn't have any water. Just pour water on it. We're good to go, you know? Um... Nick Khan wants to solidify NXT as a major third brand. That's a very good idea. I like the idea of uh, everybody like moving back and like a highway pretty much like, you know, moving back and forth and everything like that. Um, I don't know how they're going to do it specifically. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know exactly how this is going to go just because I can't see to the future. Uh, I'm very hopeful as to, you know, the like outcome i guess you know i can't think of for lack of a better word i'm very hopeful of the outcome of nxt they want kanosuke to be a top baby face he's a heel right he is like he's literally he's like the worst heel right now like in a good way he's the worst heel he's the worst best heel right now so i cannot wait to see how they are going to turn this man into the biggest baby face in the company i cannot wait to see that um cole had no idea about the manager thing until well after the fact and it just makes you think like where where would cole be right now if vince was still in charge you know more than likely he would be with AEW, but would he be in AEW with shorter hair you know would he be in AEW, and you know it would be the thing of like oh cole's hard to work with yada yada you know what i mean like would people be following him you know like how would all of this go would bobby fish be an impact would Kyle o'reilly have gone to AEW? like there's so many and then ron stings mcintyre is on the injured list it's hard to say where he is right now at least for me it's hard to say you know um we really just have to wait and see what's going on where he is what he's doing what he's thinking about right now like where his mind is and all that sort of stuff so i mean there's literally nothing more i can say other than we literally have to wait and see if we hear anything from drew or anything from wwe or anything like that so there's not much we can do folks that's gonna do it for this episode hopefully everybody has a wonderful tonight and wonderful tomorrow and as always Big hugs. Big hugs all around.